Welcome to the project demonstration of IoT pet feeder system by using Raspberry Pi 3. So the main purpose of this project is we can control this pet feeder mechanism from the Blink application from anywhere in the world. So the commands from the Blink application will be received by the Raspberry Pi 3 model we are using. And uh, that was given as input triggers to the or servo motor which was uh, used to dispense this pet to the uh, pets. So this pet feeder will be dispensed by the servo motor which we attached to this box here. So we have interfaced the servo motor at pin number 12th pin and uh, that plus minus power supply getting from the 5 volts power supply to the servo motor. And also we have the uh, inbuilt Wi-Fi module inside this Raspberry Pi 3 B plus model we are using. So we have coded the Raspberry Pi 3, Pi 3 in Python language so which will attach the memory card to this one. And uh, we have placed the Blink uh, module installed inside this Raspberry Pi 3. And after this, we have coded the digital input output pins. So that's a digital input is Wi-Fi directly, and output is servo motor. And before switching on the kit, we need to install the Blink application in your phone. And then after, change the hotspot name to the project 5343 without any capital letters, without any space. And next. Password should be 12345678 and then AP band should be that's 2.4 gigahertz. These three are the many, uh, very important and then uh, log into the Blink application. So log into the Blink application then we can see one red icon over here. So it will show the status of the device is offline. So once we uh, switch on the power supply to the system then automatically it will connect it to your mobile phone. So it will take maximum 20 to 30 seconds. It will take uh, the booting time. So on completion of the booting, then the device will be connected to your mobile phone. We can see the one device will be connected over here. So now it is zero devices connected. Yeah, one device is connected. And after that, we can see the device coming to online right now. It is online now. So if you want to provide the input to the pet feeder system, just click on that. It's restarted. So right, so we need to provide the maximum power, so 5 volts, 2 amps. So then, like this, when we provide the Blink application input, so it will be commands received by the uh, Raspberry Pi and the triggers pulse will be given to the servo motor directly. So when you get the low power, then automatically the keep on uh, restarting the Raspberry Pi. So we should provide the 5 volts, 2 amps minimum power supply to that.